Well guys, it's official. Old Car Auto Guy has now stepped down to just two episodes a week. Starting August 1st, I'm only gonna be doing two episodes a week on Tuesday and Saturday. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means better quality content for this channel. So as we get ready to start this video, sit back, relax, and enjoy the content of Old Car Auto Guy. So we're just taking a look underneath Junior's car to find out what's going to be the easiest way to get the motor out, whether to drop the whole subframe and everything or to just take the engine and transmission out together. So let's take a look. So in case you missed it on Instagram, there's the big hole in the bottom. And there's a big hole up in here where the uh, connected rod probably came out. And of course everything's covered in oil. The transmission looks like if we get this plastic here and here out of the way and get everything disconnected from up top, we should be able to drop it down by removing all the mounts and uh, otherwise we've got, we would take everything apart including the struts and all that stuff so we're trying to get the path of least resistance I'm thinking that uh, dropping the engine transmission together as one unit down is the way to go. So the axles are out we've got everything ready to come down here we got the exhaust taken apart and uh, get the transmission emptied the clutch is disconnected and uh, you get a pretty good look at the hole there. And we're getting ready to uh, evacuate the AC system. I don't know if you guys can see up in there, but I see uh, inside of the guts of a starter by the looks of things. So basically it was here that the microphone again quit working uh, based on what seems to be a loose connection into my GoPro. So all I'm basically telling you here is that we've got a few little things left to do, such as removing the front engine mount as well as the rear engine mount which I'm pointing to here now. We've got heater hoses that have got to come off where the uh, inlet is for the radiator and uh, we're going to pull that off as well as pull off that uh, bracket right there. And once we get that done we should be able to drop everything down through the bottom. Obviously I managed to get some uh, grease on my forehead and on my nose and I was trying to make a joke saying what are you guys looking at do I have something on my nose and yes my hands did get greasy because well I worked in the shop all day yes I put in a whole eight hours well now that we've got the engine and the transmission separated we can get a pretty good look here at the uh, destruction and you can see right through to the other side you can also see the destruction that came all the way up in here when that uh, connecting rod was just spinning and banging and crashing and there's the damage that took out the starter so the starter sits right in here and that just pulled right through And a couple of things that we're going to address, I guess, while we have this out is the uh, engine oil cooler was leaking and we were going to get that fixed, but the part was so expensive through the dealer, which was the only place we could get it. The other engine has one on it and it's not leaking. Also, we've got a new clutch on the way. We'll get a new clutch put into it as well as the, uh, whatever you call that, the slave cylinder or release bearing or whatever you want to call it. And then we'll be uh, able to take off anything that we need off of this engine here that this one might be missing and uh, get things put back together. So we will do a tear down video on this one and, and get things all uh, taken apart from the inside and see what's left in there. And there's what's left of the starter. Now is the time that we call it a night. We've been sweating like pigs here in this heat and humidity. So. Well guys, it's Friday. We are back at it for day two on the Veloster motor swap here. 
and it looks like we are getting things pretty well switched, uh, switched over from the old blown engine to the new one and uh, I'm just waiting on confirmation for the clutch and the starter to show up so we can get this thing back together. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the day, we'll at least have everything back together as far as mating the transmission and the engine and maybe even get so far as to get it back up inside the car. So that's the goal for today, so stay tuned. So a little change of plans for the remainder of this video, guys, simply because, well, things didn't go as planned to get the clutch and the starter for Junior's car. So they both showed up a little bit late. Uh, the clutch came from the US and we had a little bit of trouble at the bridge, so that took us a long time this afternoon and just rendered us with no time left in the afternoon. So that's gonna be Tuesday's project when we come back and why Tuesday? Well, this is a long weekend for us here in New Brunswick. It's called New Brunswick Day. It's the celebration of the day that New Brunswick joined Confederation. So what we're doing now is we've got just a few little things left to do and I'll show you. There's the new clutch and, and uh, pressure plate. There's the used starter that we got for 100 bucks and the new slave cylinder. So those parts are gonna be going in and then we'll get that made it up to the new motor. You'll notice that this one does not have the cylinder number four delete. Uh, it is intact and we will get that mated to the transmission and then we're gonna jack it back up into the vehicle. So with any luck at all on Tuesday, by the end of the day, we should have Junior's car back up and running. So this is Saturday, and yes, it's a delayed upload. You guys are gonna to get to see this here very, very shortly from my end. And I wanted to update you, like I said I would, on a couple of things. So one was the arbitration that we had on this green Kia Soul for the dents that were undisclosed. I asked for $1,500, I did not get $1,500. Rather than send this thing out to paint to get those dents fixed, I've called my buddy Josh, the dent daddy. He's gonna come in and do his paintless dent repair and hopefully we can get this done a lot cheaper. So that is the update on the Kia Soul. Now I also told you guys in a video last weekend that the Kia Sorento was sold. Well, we ended up finding an arbitration issue with that too. The four wheel drive did not work. So we've got that arbitration all fixed up. So we had to go back to the auction and do an arbitration, which meant the vehicle had to go back to Moncton. Uh, they diagnosed that yes, indeed, the four wheel drive was not working and had determined that we have to go back to the seller to get a discount or cancel the sale or whatever. Now, canceling the sale was not an option because I've already got this vehicle sold. So the seller came back with an $800 offer. The auction came back with um, returning the buying fees back to me and therefore I was able to afford to put the new unit in this. So the reason why I'm here on a Saturday on a long weekend when we're normally closed is because these customers want to pick up their vehicle. So it is ready, it's all cleaned up and just waiting for them. So they should be here momentarily so that they can drive away in their new Kia Sorento. So guys, that is gonna do it for this video. And keep in mind that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be back live on Thursday evening. And we've got some of those bugs straightened out. So when we do that, we're gonna be talking about cars, YouTube stuff, and uh, basically anything automotive related. So the show consists of myself and Grant Tommy as Street Six Fan and his link is in the description box below. I hope you guys tune in on Thursday live at seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern and nine local time. Also, thank you so much guys for sending me your license plates. We are getting closer and closer to getting project wall art done and getting the, that uh, piece mounted up on the wall. If you don't know what that project is, you go back through my playlist, you'll see exactly what we're doing. Guys, as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.